Wetzelquadl Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 156, Screenwriting. remake of Star Wars, so let's start working on it. Wow, Quentin's creative mind strikes again. It's really interesting how he takes pre-existing works and does creative things out of them. I bet he's working on some anti-censorship screenplays. He made a promise to the spirit of his East African ancestor that he would continue the fight against the practice, didn't he? He did. I can remember going to the theater, watching cartoons before the live-action feature presentation. They depicted many things that are completely unacceptable nowadays. It seems the current owners of these cartoons are trying to erase those prejudices from history. Well, that's why Quentin's here to prevent that. Well, let's hope with all our might that the animated dream comes true with Quentin's help. Okay, so I've laid down the plot for my anti-censorship remake of Star Wars. You could probably already guess this, but the few remaining Jedi Knights and the Rebels will oppose censoring the media, while the two Sith Lords and the Empire will not only support it, but will want to gain complete control of the media industry altogether. Now, I'll try to stay as faithful to the original movies as possible, with some tweaks, of course, to keep with the anti-censorship theme. Alright, let's start writing the script. Wow, Quentin must really be at the top of his game to be writing an anti-censorship remake of Star Wars. Fits well with the personality of censorship supporters. They're all Sith loyalists, so to speak. I wonder if Quentin Chandler actually turn these scripts into movies. I'm sure he will. Besides, it's his hatred of censoring animation and illustrated books that made him come to Animation Land in the first place. The six of us were also victims of the Black Cross Army's demonic agenda. I felt completely empty inside when I found out that Aunt Emiko and Uncle Hideto were killed. The Black Cross Fuhrer was a complete bigot who wanted to kill all animated characters! Guess that explains why the Black Cross Army wanted to censor all animation forever! One thing's for sure, with Quentin helping out, he could bring balance to the animation industry! Yeah, guess he could be in that show as one! Alright, I am halfway done with my first script. I tried to include some scenes that were cut from the original version of the film. One big example is the famous scene where Jabba the Hutt speaks to Han Solo about the payment he promised him. Well, the Death Star is on its way to destruction, so let's finish this script. Wow, Quentin seems to be caught to the action as he writes that script. Well, he's been a fan of Star Wars ever since he was a kid. He'll be sure to save the animation industry one day. Usagi, didn't you say you found out that you were his younger sister or something? I did! We found that out together! Well, I hope we get to see him turn these script into actual movies someday. I'm sure he will. There's no stopping somebody like Quentin. Alright, my first script is finished. This one is obviously an anti-censorship remake of the very first Star Wars movie, Episode 4. It's had quite a few scenes that were cut from the original version of the movie, like when Darth Vader and Chief Bass discuss what's happening on Moss Eisley. Well, I think I'll stop by Hooper's store for a drink. Come on. Hello, Quentin. How's your script coming along? I just finished the first one. I don't know when I'll try to sell it, but I'm thinking about it. Glad to hear that. Anyway, what'll it be today? I'll just have a Minute Maid Zero Sugar, please. Alright, coming right up. Wow, even Mr. Who was excited about my scripts. I did not expect that. Okay, one bottle of Minute Maid Zero Sugar. Drink to your health. Thank you! And thank you for coming down the visit. 
It sure was hard to write a remake of Star Wars, but I managed to pull it off. Stop by whenever crime attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.